He's you ready? Fine. Good morning. Hey, baby. Charlie is upset, but the reason Charlotte's just out is because it is the day I have been dreading ever since I knew the appointment was coming. She is going in for surgery this morning to get spayed. So we're about to go take her and drop her off. We followed all the little precautions, like no food, no water since last night, but we're about to take her and go get her fixed. Oh, I am like dreading this so much. I was the same way over Charlie. Charlie, but I'm sure everything's gonna go great and I'm gonna be so excited when we get to pick her up. Are you ready? All right, Kayla, are you ready? No. I know you're not. It's gonna be fun. Don't you start crying. She's gonna be fun. Kayla, stop crying. <laughs> Don't go in here, Debbie Down, or you're gonna upset her. She'll be fine, honey, I promise. She just gets emotional. She worries about her. He's you ready? Just go in here and talk to him and ask him any questions you have, okay? Yeah. All right, get your baby. So we're back in the car and we just dropped Charlotte off. I've already cried once today. I'm trying not to cry right now. I felt really good when we were talking to the vet, like the technician or whatever. Like, I felt really at peace <laughs> with her getting surgery. Oh gosh, I am such a worry wart and overthinker. So now we're off to uh, Briley's Orthodontics. Well, we're not actually off to Briley's Orthodontics yet. We actually are gonna go get breakfast. And then we're gonna go to Briley's Orthodontics appointment. They did let me know that the doctor, like the actual vet, will actually call us as soon as she's out. It's starting to wake up. We are in the car. We actually just finished breakfast. It was so good. It was literally amazing. We went to the famous toastery. I don't think I filmed the menu, but it was so good. I got eggs, potatoes, and gluten-free bread. They actually had gluten-free bread this time. I was so impressed with it. I want to actually go buy that brand of bread. Maybe after this, we might swing by Whole Foods and see if they actually sell that brand of bread. It was called Rudy's. I had to actually go online, check all the ingredients, to make sure there was no like nuts or tree nuts or anything weird in it and everything was pretty basic so we are good have not gotten word yet about charlotte i'm still waiting for a phone call to verify that she's out of surgery it's 11 35 i don't know if she's gone back yet or she might already be ready and they're just waiting for her to wake up a little better i don't i'm not really sure i'm really anticipating the phone call because i'm just ready to hear that everything went good and she's doing well but once we're able to pick her up today i think it's it's like 5, 5.30 this afternoon. We'll be able to go pick her up, bring her home, and they said she'll pretty much be out of it probably today just because she'll be on pain meds and everything. So there's your update. But right now I'm actually going to edit with this really cute laptop case. This is by UB. Anyways, there's the update for you guys. I'm going to get busy editing and I'll let you guys know what the vet says whenever they call me. Make sure I have my phone on ringer so I can hear it. So I just got probably one of the most anticipated phone calls. The vet just called and said that Charlotte is out of surgery. They literally just called. I just got off the phone with them. <sighs> My heart feels good now. I feel like relieved. I felt really good dropping her off this morning. I just, like I said, I'm a stress bucket. It was actually the doctor that called and he was like, just wanted to call and let you know that Charlotte did great. They have her wrapped in warm cloths right now. Just like getting her body temperature back up from her being under. She's starting to sit up. She's still a little groggy because I mean, they just got her out of surgery, but she's doing fantastic. So happy, so relieved to have gotten that phone call. I was just sitting here anticipating it. Yeah, I know recovery, I think it's going to be the hardest part of the whole process just because she has to be kind of by herself for 14 days. She can't even be around Charlie. We're in Whole Foods. We're in the frozen bread section because we're trying to see if they actually have this bread that I'm looking for. But I did see some really good stuff. We're gonna try to find this bread and if I find, Rudy's right there. I don't know if it's frozen. They might have it like not frozen too because I think they make they it both. Ooh. We're gonna go see if they actually have just a non-frozen bread. We have found the macaron, macaroons, macarons. We found these things. Look how cute these are, but they contain almonds so I can't have them. Do they have most? 
sushi here. This stuff is so good. Back in the car, quick little Whole Foods haul because everyone's like ready to eat. So the first thing we got were these flourless chocolate cookies and I honestly don't know how these are gonna be. They're mini mm-hmm flourless <laughs> cookies. <laughs> There's 18 in here. They were ten nine dollars. There's literally no flour whatsoever. It's just chocolate chips, egg whites, vanilla, and sea salt, and powdered sugar. Gluten free. They I don't, don't say know. gluten free, but they gotta be. <gasps> They're made right here local. Oh. That whole table, I remember it did say local. I don't know, but we probably could go to this bakery and buy them. Oh, I'm excited to try those. They look really good. Then I got my bread. Oh my gosh. So this is the bread I had this morning and it was so good. It's the Rudy's home style white bread. And we did have to get it frozen because they did not have it already like non-frozen gluten free version anyways. But this is the original kind and it's dairy free, soy free, and nut free. It's so good. We got some mac and cheese, which is not mine. You forgot you got mac and cheese. That's right. I forgot baby. We got one macaroon, macaron, I don't know what it's called. We got one of these things. I never knew it was made with almonds, so I cannot ever have one of these, which is really sad because I've always wanted one of these, but what if there's that? And then mom got blueberry faye yogurt. There you go. Thank you. And I got regular faye yogurt just because I'm not really a huge fan of the fruit part of it, but there's the little Whole Foods haul. I'm gonna get off here so mom can now vlog it. That was the quickest haul ever two minutes Woo. you hear the garage opening that means we are about to leave and we are finally going to go get Charlotte oh, I'm so excited I feel like I have not seen her all day which it literally you has been <laughs> but I just felt like this day was the longest day ever yeah. I'm not lying you were up so early about like seven o'clock, you know what I mean? I know, like she had to be there so early this morning and I'm so excited to see her. We haven't heard anything else from them, so I'm assuming she's doing great. They didn't say we had to wait any longer, which I'm so thankful for, because if they were like, oh, she needs to wait a little longer, I'd have been oh, so upset. Been so we're backing out the garage, so I'm gonna end this now. Charlotte is back. Oh my gosh, she looks so pitiful. Oh, sweet girl. Like, it's so different compared to Charlie, because, like, even though he was kind of out of it, he was still, like, sitting up and hanging, hanging out. out. And even by that night, he was walking around. Like, I don't think she'll be doing any of that tonight. No, she looks very out of it. When we picked her up, her eyeballs looked, like, really big, and I was like, is she okay? And they were like, oh, yeah, that's from her pain medicine, but, oh, gosh. I'm just glad to have her back home. Me too. But I'm ready for her to kind of wake up a little. You know what I mean? I like, know. Like back to normal, but Aww. I'm just glad her little arm is like shaved. It is like, shaved. Fully. I'm like so scared to even move with her. I know. Kayla made me buckle her in. I had no choice. <laughs> I was gonna carry her out just like this, and the girl's like, no, you need to pick her up like this. And they don't want her stretching out, because if she stretches out, she could mess up her incision. So it's gonna be very interesting these next, at least the first few days. Yeah, 14 days. We can do this. There we go. Okay, so I waited to end the vlog a few days after the original vlog, because I wanted to just, like give you guys an update on how Charlotte's doing. She is doing fantastic. First she came home she was kind of out of it I think because the anesthesia was still in her system but now she's all walking around playing pretty much back to herself her pain medicine that she's on when it's like in her system it does calm her down like a little but honestly it doesn't calm her down that much but I'm just glad she's feeling so much better and more like herself here's what she looks like Charlotte hey baby she loves to give kisses still she's like literally acting just like herself and she's all playing and she's starting to eat which is good because the first night she didn't really eat much or really anything She just was not in the mood for eating second day. She started eating a little bit more and now tonight She's like eating food just like she usually does. It's still a little slower, but it's definitely getting better But I just want to give you guys an update on how she's doing I'm just glad the surgery is over and it went well, but that's how I'm gonna end the vlog So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Bye.